Hola, me llamo Jorge Ulloa y soy profesor de español. This list, Tips to Understand Spoken Spanish, will have a number of videos. Each video will concentrate on a feature of spoken Spanish because I found that that is what confuses my students. Sometimes they learn a word in a reading comprehension exercise, but the same word is not recognized when it appears in a listening exercise, especially if it's a native speaker who is not an actor. For example, today I had a listening exercise. I used a recording from Gran Canaria and the students couldn't recognize what this man was saying. And what he was saying was, todos bienvenidos, todos bienvenidos. And of course, there are a number of issues here, if you want. Um, one is that they hadn't really realized, this particular group, that the B in Spanish is softer than in English. And I haven't told them enough that the V in Spanish tend to sound like a B. So when they heard todos bienvenidos, todos bienvenidos, they couldn't recognize it. And it's again sometimes our fault, the teacher's fault, because we don't expose our students to enough native speakers and we tend to rely on actors who are the ones who record for the books. I know it's not always practical, but that is something I'm trying to do myself. So this is one aspect. Another aspect that I'm going to cover is consonant sounds in general. You know, um, I keep saying this, and I will say it again. <laughs> All consonant sounds in Spanish are softer than in English, except for four. Ra, ra, ja and th. Apart from that, all the consonants are softer. I remember when I first came to England a long time ago, 27 years ago, and people used to ask me where I was from, and I would say then, Peru. And they didn't recognize it. I beg your pardon, Beirut. I said, no, no, Peru. And after a while, when I said South America as well, they said, oh, Peru. So that's a typical example of, you know, the letter P in Spanish sounds softer than in English. I always ask my students to do this exercise, and I said, if you get some paper like this, in Spanish, when you say things like Pedro, Pedro is de Peru, doesn't shake a lot. But if you say Peter is from Peru, it will do. And that is the trick. So we're going to cover consonants again, because, you know, I think students need reminding, you know, they come here once a week, so it's my job to remind them, Spanish consonants are softer, and keep bringing the native speakers, the non-actors native speakers. The other thing, of course, is vowel sounds, but vowels are not a big problem, we'll mention them briefly just to remind of the medial length. But to begin with, I think the main emphasis is going to be consonant sounds. And another thing that I suggest, and I try to put in practice myself as a teacher, is to try to introduce some vocabulary, some new words as spoken words, rather than written words. I know it's not always practical, but when possible, if you as a teacher or a learner could introduce at least one word a week as a spoken word because then they will remember that. The, the danger in introducing too many words as written words, and I'm as guilty as anybody else, is that the students will make an assumption. This is a typical example. 
If you've never heard this word before, you might think it's going to be vida, vida. But it's not in his life, by the way. No Spanish speaker would say vida, we say vida. And it's a good example of a V that doesn't sound V sounds ba, and a D doesn't sound D sounds the, vida, vida. And again, the added complication that even though we say the V is B, it's not like an English B, it's softer. Uh, today we had another exercise and the word diferencia came, diferencia. And most students didn't recognize it because again, they haven't heard it many times as a spoken word, they've seen it, and they assumed it would be diferencia with an English D. But that is just human nature. You know, you see a word you've never seen before in a different language, you use the tools you have, which is the English phonemes. So that is really the, the idea of this page. We're going to do, as I said, consonant vowels. Then we're going to do features of spoken Spanish, such as elision, linking, I'm going to throw in the lazy B, which is one of my favorites, and I'm going to venture this time into controversial territory. I'm going to introduce the intrusive age. If you're not familiar with that, I'll just give you one practical example, something again that happened today. The intrusive age happens when in some regional varieties of Spanish, some people don't like to pronounce the S at the end of word. So, they wouldn't say los alumnos, but los alumnos, los alumnos. And that sound there, I don't know if you've noticed it, that is the intrusive H, because, because they tend not to pronounce the S in los. So you've got lo and alumno. It's not natural for the speaker to say lo alumno, no. So this H sound creeps in and becomes lo alumnos. Los alumnos. If you don't believe me, <laughs> I invite you to go to another playlist here on this channel. That playlist is called Listen to Native Speakers. I've got 15 recordings so far, and this Los Alumnos thing happened in a recording, a video called Saludos desde Gran Canaria. And I know it's controversial, but I think this is not just Gran Canaria. And this particular speaker was from Seville, Sevilla. I've heard it in other areas. Um, I know my friends from Malaga are going to kill me <laughs> for saying this. But I got the, I've got the feeling that this... I've heard it in places in Andalusia. I've heard it in the Caribbean. I've heard it in Gran Canaria this intrusive age. Some Peruvians do it as well, I must say, but not many. But some Peruvians will do it. It's just something that is in us, I think, as native speakers, something that we will say. Personally, I think students need to know these things. You know, in, in my case, my students love Costa del Sol. That's where they go. And if I'm only going to teach them, you know, Spanish of um, educated people, to put it one way, or the Spanish of just the center of Madrid, uh, center of Spain, then I'm not really preparing them for the real world. Eso es todo por hoy. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. Saludos desde Blackpool.